All right, so on top of the bracket, we have Paper taking it 2-1 over S2H nice. to fight Elegant now. Wow. And we have Game Arrow taking it 2-1 over West, who's now fighting Dome. That's actually really interesting. Game and Watch over, over Meta Knight. Very good, uh, very good Paper out there fighting the, fighting the good fight. But also, Raza out here fighting the good fight against the Belmonts once more. Not yeah, I mean, Simon in the toe. he just had to bring a huge Game 5 reverse 3-0 combat. Uh, against T3 Dome not very long ago, only a couple of minutes, but now he has a different beast in Nitro, and I want to say, you know, he has more experience with Nitro's style of playing Belmont. Yeah. And it looked like it's already coming to work out for him a little bit better than against his last set, yes. where he finds this early stock onto Nitro. Yeah, and uh, especially uh, with, with both of them being uh, familiar with each other through the IE, they know each other's uh, habits, each other's play style, so it's going to be a little bit easier for them to... Uh, to readjust to each other and for, for them to start trying to trap each other better. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, go. Uh, I was just going to say Nitro looking for the double dip right there with the downers, but he's not going to fight. There's the turnip, but a great air dodge. We never really saw that from Dome, but it looks like Nitro's main recovery option is going to be that air dodge into the ledge. Yeah, uh, a lot of people like to uh, opt for the whip. It, it's longer, a little bit more. What? Great recovery there with the tether, but it's not going to be enough if you cannot check the stage spike that comes from the second turn. Even though he caught the first one with the tether, which was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Nitro definitely not expecting to tech there. He was expecting to tech the the first stock he got. Uh, he lost, but not going to work out in second stock here. Raza with very good pressure on Nitro, keeping him in the zone. Alright, going up for a grab, not gonna get it, but he does get the forward air. Very nice. Just air dodging right past the axe and rolling right past the holy water. Alright, and try and land with the toad there. That's gonna be a free grab for Nitro, forcing him off stage with the back tilt. Misses or miss spaces the F tilt. What I feel like F Smash would have hit too. F Smash is longer than F tilt, right? Yes, yes it is. Alright. Yeah, uh, a little bit flop on Nitro's part, but uh, he still has stage control. Gets the stock, very nice back air there. All right, still trying to hold the ground there. Razo putting him back in the air with the dash attack. Yeah, and Peach Bomber, or sorry, Daisy Bomber, going to just break through another one to catch the neutral gap as well. Very nice call out for Mazo, calling out that spot dodge, waiting with a fair on the float. Oh. Yeah, one of the biggest differences we're seeing between Nitro and Dome in Razo's last set is Nitro's not uh, using his forward air and, as, and the cross as much to pressure Razo's jump. Yeah. All right, another cross to catch out Razo there. Very nice forward there. Throws out of the holy wall. I think he's going to go low. And up tilt, up tilt and fair. Just both missing and very nice tether back to the stage. Down air fair. Very nice connection. Ooh, misses the up air just barely. Not, sorry, the uh, MK crowd looks like there was an upset of something. Whole crowd, whole venue's popping off. Ooh, just not gonna be able to con uh, connect with the up air off there across there. Gotta, uh, got to miss Oh, and no. You don't want to see that happen. Yeah, and his jump got caught. That's a very long-lasting hit. Just get up attack it. I always feel bad when I see people get hit by long-lasting moves like that. They're like, yeah, like, I, I'm get very... Get up attack beats it. Like, a lot of us are very guilty of it. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it just want to get out of that situation. Like, if I swing, I'm going to get hit. Still a Smash Four, a Smash Four thing. Get up attack is much better in this game. Yeah. So uh, you have invincibility throughout the whole thing, correct? Yeah, you can't get hit in the middle of your get up attack for your opponent's timing. I remember back in Smash Four, I used to get free tippers when people <laughs> try to get up attack me. I'm like, Yee! I think they asked about the legality of mementos. Okay, legality of mementos. Like, it's a cool stage. They uh, ran it, I think they ran it last WNF or the one before that? I hope it was just the last week of testing because the top last one for Mementos is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is not okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, you're right. But <laughs> we don't talk about that now. Oh, my God. All right. Who's the ninth nine message? Oh, dude, that, that shit's yeah. popping. It's popping. Don't worry. All right, speaking of popping, this game number two going off right now between Razo and Nitro. Quick 28% opening for 
for Razo. I like the up the out of shield from Nitro there, trying to trying to catch Razo coming in and getting a cross up, but Razo very smartly uh, drifted away. And Nitro now has stage control, but Air Dodge's pass not going to able to get a connection off of the Nair or the cross there. Yeah. And like I was saying, Nitro's game plan really revolves around him catching Razo's landings instead of punishing him for being in the air. What? But while, who thinks to put the holy water up there? That's some sort of... Never like, mind, he's definitely calling out Razo for being up there. He, that, that's some sort of Robin calculation right there. Like, no one expects a holy water to actually hit a platform into an up smash there. My, but Nitro, very well placed. Another axe coming out, but gets the grab after throwing it out. Like the Holy Water attempt. Ooh, just out of range for the forward smash. Yeah, and that first air of Holy Water is enough for Nitro to find a forward smash as well. This game number two working out great in favor of Nitro so far. Yeah, I like what Nitro did there with the cross two. Instead of throwing it straight at Rosal, he threw it behind him to cover uh, a cross up option and used that to his advantage to continue pressuring Rosal uh, there. Has a turn up, it's gonna, ooh, he actually catches it as he gets a back air out. Oh, and I'm really surprised we didn't see a forward smash that had to have been a misinput to get the forward tilt, sending Nitro up instead. But the back air is going to send him off the side, so that is going to take the stop. Great parry for Razo, but can he find an opening off of it? Because right now, Nitro is still just punishing him for being in shield. All right, gonna throw out that cross and the axe, forcing uh, Razo into the air. Nice uh, throwing cross behind him, Razo very smartly uh, rolls behind Nitro to avoid the cross. Oh, nice parry on the back air. Not gonna lose the stock just yet. Bounces off of the shield. All right, the back air trade right there for in favor of Nitro. F tilting on his shield, trying to catch him dropping early. Another cross right there, Holy Water. Very nice usage of all of his projectiles. Yeah, great float once again to avoid the uh, the axe. I like the anti-air up, uh, up, uh, up tilt from Nitro there. Continuously keeping Razo above him, but Razo has some really good pressure going on Nitro. I am, that's going to be the stock lead in favor of Nitro once again. He's really starting to run away with this game if Razo can't take the stock really early, but we've seen him do it before. Right. Nitro trying to set up camp once more. Goes with a down air neutral. Very nice DI from Razo. Another holy, holy water on the platform just in case Razo felt a little bit safer on the platform. All right, down air goes for the up air afterwards, but not going to connect. He is able to land in time to get his shield out to protect him from Razo's landing forward air. Nitro down airing into the stage. Just try to set up once again. Nit oh, Razo looking to find any sort of opening right now. Tries for the photo here, another one as well, but low profiling the F tilt. Dash tag going to force Razo or uh, Nitro high. There's the stitch face, but he just throws it away. I'm not sure if Razo was able to see that it was the stitch face in time. Uh, very bad, uh, I wouldn't say bad usage of stitch face. It was covering jump from Nitro just in case he wanted to go above uh, Razo, but Razo did not allow him to regain stage control. Very nice dash, dash attack. Dash off the top. All right. Razo's fresh. still in this game. Yeah, fresh dash attack. Her hits hella hard. Kills mega early sometimes. Especially if you're not uh, expecting it and you're holding in. All right, very nice down tilt into Nair. Not going to get anything else off of it. Eights out the up the out of shield. Right, there's the photo once again. Nitro trying to just keep Razo out of his face. Try to just combat him as, from as far range as possible because he knows Daisy has these amazing CQC options. And the snipe oh. with the turnip, and that's. Uh, give me a third. Oh, no. He almost got the third. Yeah, the up, he just, just hit the third one away. He didn't want anything to do with it. But very nice double snipe from Razo there. Taking game two. I wouldn't be surprised if we go back to Pokemon Yeah, State I mean, that was actually. a very good, like, start for Nitro, but he just kind of started to get overwhelmed in the end. Looks like he's thinking deeply about it. Smash World going to be the pick, though? It is. It, it does help uh, Richter a lot, too, because 
Nitro has been trying to kill off the side. There's not really much he can do to kill up the top, except like up air, yeah. up smash. And a lot of Nitro setups have been horizontal kill options, uh, horizontal kill setups. So I can see what Nitro's trying to do here. He also has a platform above him, a really big platform that he can work with, just in case Razo wants to land on top of him. He can run below the platform and try to try to keep him up there. Alright, very nice. Using Cross to keep Razo out. Ooh, Razo actually switched to Peach here. Yeah, I'm not sure what goes on in his head that tells him which character er, to use. Um, because we kind of just see him swap between the two almost at random. I really want to know why, actually. I, f I feel like there's actually just really little to no difference between Daisy and Peach. There, there ah. was, and then the patch changed it so there wasn't. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I guess it's just aesthetic, then. Yeah. All right, Nitro throwing out the cross gate in the back air and the Holy Water setup. Wow, he was from mid stage on Smashville there, and the tipper of Whip actually still hit that shield. It'd be like that, you know? Well, I guess for like almost all of his moves, he's, he kind of has it curled up as he's throwing, yeah. as he's whipping it. So forward smash is just like him going to full length with it. Just like that, catching him on the Peach Bomber there. Good spacing from Nitro. All right, even though the Peach Bomber got punished the first time, he's going to use it a second time to actually break through Nitro's zone. All right, down tilt two, going to connect, and he has to come back to stage. Oh, okay, he, okay, he nice went with get up, get up attack. attack. He actually went with get up attack that time. See, that's the scary thing about get attack. Sometimes you don't know if it's like, oh my god, that shield. shield is not okay. That's not okay. Okay. Axe going to catch him on the float right above him. Raza's not recognizing it in time, he gets hit by it, and that dash attack gonna set up for an up air, but he goes for a Peach Bomber instead, just in case he wanted to like air, air dodge down to the ground. I like the jump from Nitro there, he was just baiting out his jump with the forward air. All right, very nice, grabs him and gets a back air out. Another cross, and not gonna connect, but. All right, up the uh, shield for Nitro, gonna be his get off me tool here. Great use of the forward air, angled upwards. That second forward air not angled up though, so it doesn't connect. And a float near for Razo going to just put himself in the path of that tether. Very nice patience from Razo there. Not being too antsy on his uh, on his option to edge guard Nitro. Another back air. Ooh, just the very last frame of Peach Bomber there. All right, Peach Bomber going to connect. Looks for a second one off of the down air. It definitely would have been enough to seal out that stop. Nitro having a hard time keeping keeping pace like he did in the game one. All right. Oh my Ooh, god. Reach him for me. it. He said, bring out that mushroom. I can't do anything to save you if I wait. Ah, uh, okay. Very nice forwarder to connect back to stage. I am Razo's been making good use of his auto canceled side because that's really been the game changer here. Alright, just to go with a back air to catch that down air. Not gonna connect just a little bit off. Very nice landing there. He throws out the turn up and not gonna connect, but oh, that but there one it does. is. Yep. And that's the 3 0 in favor of Razo. Now, who do we have up next? We have Elegant and Dome, a run back of winner's quarterfinals. No, sorry, I take it back. Elegant lost to Nitro, not Dome, different Belmont. Um, but we're